Hey special family, welcome back to another video, Reddit edition. Today's title is Am I the A for not wanting my autistic stepbrother in my mom's house? My 16 male parent divorced last year and now my mom, female 51, has a new boyfriend who will call Steve, male 31. Steve has an autistic child, Jack, who is 7. And ever since Jack and Steve moved in, Jack has made my life hell. It seems like three times a week, Jack is yelling and making noises in one of his autistic tantrums. And no matter what everyone does to try and get him to stop, he will not stop until he gets what he wants. He's really weird, has no friends, and has a few rather disgusting habits, like smearing his snot on the walls of his bedroom, as well as a lot of annoying rituals. He still sucks on a binky, for goodness sake, he's seven. The days that I'm at my mom's house are hell and I honestly can't stand being around him. And I'm almost at my breaking point. I asked my mom about potentially not having Jack in the house anymore and she got very upset. She accused me of not caring about Jack and even said that I needed to accept Jack as a family member. I told her that ever since her good for nothing boyfriend entered the residence, it's been nothing but hell because he's constantly berating me because I don't like Jack. I maintained my position of not wanting to be around Jack and stated that my visits would become progressively more frequent until Jack is gone. From then on, my interactions with her have been short and somewhat bitter and I left for my dad's house the next day. Okay, family, so you've heard the story. Do you think she's the A? I think the move-in was too soon and this was bombarded onto her. She didn't even get to know Jack properly and what his condition was or what comes with his condition i think it was just dumped onto her so both parents handled it in an immature way and now she is feeling like this was just thrown on her and she's not willing to accept it but let's go to the comment section and see what the commenters had to say Okay, first commenter says, not the A. It sounds like your mother was so desperate for a new husband, she is willing to put his kid over you. It sounds like it would be best for your mental health and possible safety to live with your dad full time. Only desperate, check out the age gap. I saw the age gap and all I can say is yuck. And I would bet that the new hubby lives off her and is a deadbeat like OP said. IG, the good news is that looking at the age gap, their relationship is unlikely to last. Somebody else said, bingo. Cleveland Womble responded, Always puzzles me when an adult choice of a new bedmate apparently puts their bio kids under some duty to love one or more complete strangers. Yes, Opie is being less than sympathetic to the youngster, but why should he be? And he has no investment in this relationship of his mother and no benefit, quite the opposite. If this had been about my flatmate has just moved in his entire family into my home, there would have been house of anger. This is the situation Opie is in. The fact that the young son is autistic adds a layer of discomfort that Opie's mother should have considered before inviting her boyfriend into her son's life. Opie is finding his life disrupted and no one cares. His distress is valid. Edit, stupidly got Opie's gender wrong. Me too. <laughs> it's okay. Jess like says, not the A. I would not agree to such living conditions either. Um, pink hair analyst says, not the A. Living with your dad full time would be better for your mental health. You don't deserve to be berated constantly. Zola Rosaya says, not the A, she's choosing her boyfriend over you. Can you stay at your dad's full time and refuse to see her until she apologizes to you and then only at a neutral public place with no boyfriend or kid? She doesn't deserve to be a mother. There's no excuse for doing what she's doing to you. Pim56 says, not the A, your problem is not with the seven-year-old with autism, but with your mother and her boy toy who upended your life without your consent. He's not your stepbrother, Steve is not your stepfather, and I frankly give a relationship with that kind of age difference a shorter longevity than a season of fantasy football. Talk to your father, you should be old enough to have a say in who you stay with. Leopard Reason says, not the A, and at 16, you should be able to choose the parent you live with. Stay at your dad's and meet up with your mom occasionally when she's alone. 
tomboyish yes not the a while i sympathize with blended families who struggle i'll never understand how they won't recognize difficulties an autistic child can be difficult that doesn't mean the child is less than or unworthy of love trying to pretend that they're just a regular kid and not a bit extra will never work out my advice is don't bother with your mom. She's so desperate to be in any relationship that she doesn't give a crap about anything else. Hunker down, do what you gotta do, and move out when you can. Hoshi Jones says, not the A, she accused you of not caring about Jack. That's bizarre. Why on earth should you care about him? You barely know him. Stay with your dad until that relationship inevitably implodes. Zesty Closefoot says, I didn't necessarily disagree with your verdict, but do realize how effing life destroying it can be for autistic people to be constantly to re reduced to how hard it is for their family. Being autistic can be agonizing and baffling, but it's always, always comes down to how people around us feel. A million pats on the shoulder for people who have to deal with it if we express our pain and a billion pats on the shoulder for people who have to deal with it if we hide it and then off ourselves it's effing exhausting jaded honey responded i'm sorry it's exhausting for you but it's exhausting for us too and i'm tired of not being allowed to express that a lot of parents have ptsd from raising autistic children but again we're uh, we're not allowed to talk about it it's also soul destroying to have your entire life ripped away because of someone else's disability it's not anyone's fault, of course, but it is what it is. When someone needs a tremendous amount of extra care, it has to come from somewhere. Jaded Honey responded, and from my view, I get a lot of self-diagnosed adult autistics do nothing but ish on the rest of the family because they're sick of dealing with meltdowns whenever the toilet flushes, the AZ blows too hard, or a plane flies overhead. People always talk about how bad the autistic person has it, but no one talks about the 10 other family members living in misery because of it. 10 other family members who didn't do anything wrong either, who now have their lives hijacked by someone with zero emotional regulation. It's like being held hostage. I constantly see people declaring that you aren't obligated to love someone just because they're family, but that goes right out the window when that person has a condition that makes them, for lack of a better word, act like a huge A. The word autistic has become a Teflon armor, steal and break people ish, and they're allowed to be mad at you. Steal and break people ish while autistic and now those same people get guilted for not being an endless well of patience and virtue. Woo! Preach, cook. You can't deny the stress. Even in this thread, the autistic child is ruining his father's relationship because he just can't effing behave. It's no one's fault but it's a miserable way to live. People should be able to talk about the realities of caring for autistic individuals instead of pretending they're like little Sheldons on TV. I'm a divergent, my son is divergent, life has taught me that there's no benefits, no superpowers, just a lot of difficult living in the real world and not just a bubble of comfort leeching of someone else. Hopefully, this disability can be found in prenatal tests sooner rather than later so parents can make an informed decision like other lifelong serious disabilities. If that means people like me don't get born, I'm okay with that. I'm not something I take personally. No one should be forced to slave over a person who needs round-the-clock full-time caregiving for the entirety of their life. Prisoners aren't even forced to do that. I can't imagine what substance farmers did in the past after birthing a child like that, when everyone had to actively participate and contribute instead of pulling away far, far more resources than others while contributing nothing tangibly in return. Ooh, child. Turtle M says, not the A, seems very much like your mom's new boyfriend's an older woman who is an easy target to leech onto and take some of the pressure of taking care of his kid off him. He's constantly berating me because I don't like Jack. Your mother should be on your side, not letting someone 20 years her junior treat you like crap in your own home. It sounds like she's so scared of ending up alone that she's willing to escape the bottom of the barrel when it comes to partners. Go stay with your dad. You're old enough to choose where you want to be. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.